the 10 blockers in front of me. I had 10 blockers in front of me on both sides. People can call it how they want to say it. They can say it was the blocking. They can say it was my feet. But it was the 10 guys out there helping me in, in, in the way and getting in the way and allowing me to have lanes to run through full speed. This ain't nothing new to me. You know what I mean? If you was watching in practice, it's like it was whatever was going to happen was going to happen. Let go and let God and just make sure I can come out here and play. Is that motivating for you? I mean, if, if to, to see them go with somebody else initially in the 53 and then, and then give you the nod for, for the first game like that? I'm motivated for me. Like, I've been doing this a long time. Jacksonville, I've been a, a Pro Bowl alternate. As a, like, this is nothing new to me. So it's like... It's just for me to come out here and help the team. Whatever they wanted me to do. They wanted me to play gunner. I didn't know I was going to play gunner. I'm a gunner. They wanted me on kickoff. I wasn't supposed to be on kickoff, but I ended up doing eight reps in kickoff. So it's like whatever it is for me to help the team, as knowledgeable I am, as hard, I have the, the heart I have, and what I can really do out there in between the lines, that's really what, what, it, what it takes to, for this football team to win. Just cut different. It's, it's not a bounce back because, you know what I mean, it's, it's not something that's the, the, the end of the road. When you're not healthy and you can't be out there and you can't go show your stuff, that's the problem. That's when uh, the motivation and it's like, man, I have to come back and get right. But it's, it's 18 weeks in the season. You know what I mean? We, we got human beings out there. So something happened to somebody, if, if they figure they want to go with me, go with somebody else, go, just be ready. And once you be ready, then everything – happens how it's supposed to be. That's, that's making the 53 roster when you go out there and doing it in front of the camera so you guys can write about what you guys want to write about. That's the focus, to do what you're supposed to do to the best of your ability and those 10 guys around. Like I said, I'm going to just keep pointing to the 10 guys. It was not me. It was the 10 guys. We had two meetings without the coaches just to get everybody in line to become a return team because – I, I get tweeted and people add me and stuff. This team is not a return team. They don't have a returner. So we kind of took that personal. So we came out and we hit her, hit them in the mouth, and we just got to keep doing them, keep being consistent. And we know what we're capable of doing. I know what I'm capable of doing. As a team, we know. We know we can be very elite, very explosive. We have a heck of an offense. If we can get that offense either in the end zone before they touch the field or on the other side of that 40-yard line, we'll probably win a lot of games. Man, appreciate it. <laughs> if I would have went out there and did something else, it would have been different. So I really don't care about that. I appreciate it, and I, I got to continue to be consistent, continue to keep working, and continue to take one. I, I need to take one back. That's, that's personal. That's motivation. I got to get in that paint. I got to get in the end zone. And we have to get in the end zone because 10 guys are blocking. You know what I mean? We all look great when we're out there doing good. So those 10 guys are going to help me or whoever back there get in the end zone. Never, no, no, and, and he's amazing for that because we didn't find out actually until yesterday uh, when we had our first meeting. It was like, yeah, we, we got a new long snapper coming in. We all looked, and we seen his hand. He put his hand up, swollen and everything, and, you know, that, that's, that's the grit of this team. That's the determination, the, the bottom end of this roster that people don't really care about, that people don't really see. Like, we actually are here early. We're here late. We're here with each other. We're talking. We're, we're doing, you know what I mean? There's no egos here, even with the superstars here. Yeah, I was in Monday night last, last year, and, and Mike's like, hey, what route is it? He literally said, no, nah, keep throwing the ball to Mick. Okay, it's the, it's the big time receiver, like telling them to throw the ball to me because I guess my mojo is going, this team is a fighting team and we're all together. That's why you see the camaraderie. That's why you see number 85 and number one coexisting. Can whoever's back there, whoever's on the field at receiver, if y'all haven't seen it lately, it's positive things that's going to happen. And we have to continue to keep that standard up. We're going to have some ups and downs. We're going to have some bumps and bruises. Everything's not going to be perfect. You know, receivers drop balls. Uh, uh, DBs blow coverages. Um, some people get on the other side of blocks. Um, re returners might read the wrong read.
But at the end of the day, to keep ourselves in a, in a positive upbringing of what our return game could be, what our offense could be, what our defense could be, that is what motivates me and us around here, being the whole team. Because I like, I like to play in the Super Bowl. I, like, I know you guys like to cover it. So uh, we like those games, so we have to win one week at a time. Uh, he's a pro. He's a pro. He's a young guy, but he's a pro. But it's my job to give him everything that I possibly can give him. It's my job and, and, and everybody around. It's not the coach's job to, to tell him to go do punt. They have a hundred different jobs. They got other rookies they got to coach up, but it's my job. If they're going to put you out there, I'm a part of this team, I'm going to make sure you show your butt. I'm going to make sure you play great. I'm going to make sure that you don't have to think about nothing. Just be fast, play physical, and go have fun. Because whenever out there, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is going to be successful. I'm going to keep reiterating. I don't care who is out there. Last year when Kenyon Barner's back there, he's calling me on the phone. Hey, what you see on that return? Hey, look, if you would have just kept going left and pressed it hard, you would have had more sideline. All right, boom, I'm going to He went out there and he did it against the Falcons. So this, this, this camaraderie, this team, it, it goes to show that it's going to go a long way, especially with the youth in our room, because I'm considered not a young guy. But, like, I'm still a young guy. Like, you know, we still got some older guys that's teaching us a lot. We have Tom Brady. You know what I mean? He come up to me and talk to me about returns. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, a, it's a big thing all the way around. And, like I said, whoever's back there, if it's J.D., if it's me, if it's Cyril Grayson, if it's anybody back there, it's, it's going to be fireworks. What can Tom Brady share with you about returns? Tom Brady can share a lot because the first thing you want to do is get the ball back to Tom Brady now. On that, on that, on that, uh, that field goal, long field goal. When I was back, I, I, I was, I wanted to catch it and go, but then I said, well, listen, if I don't score right here, I won't give the ball back to Brady at the 48 yard line. So I'm gonna just let this one go, and he made some positive happen. So trust in ourselves, trust in Tom, trust in this whole team, and we will be successful. Man, it's sitting in the safe. It's sitting in the safe. And it was memorable because, man, who gets cut the first day of camp, comes back, be the returner all year, gets COVID, cut again, comes, comes back three weeks later, has to have a mindset, was inactive before the Packers game, was walking up to the practice squad booth, yelled and ran up and said, hey, you're active, you got to be a returner. Walked downstairs, wasn't even, you know what I mean? Mindset had to rechange. It's like, hell yeah, we want that again. Like that, that feeling, that's what you do it for. That's what you do it for everywhere I go. It's like, hey, Super Bowl champion J. Don Mickens, and not just J. Don Mickens, the football player. So it, 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 it's, it's, it's really fun. It's really exciting. And then to have a lot of Super Bowl champions as well on the team, still starters, co-starters, it, it's, it's so fun. It's moving, and it, it makes you want it. Yeah, you got it. You have to. Being undrafted, <laughs> you got to do everything. Even we had some practice where uh, JD was um, uh, specifically back catching kicks, and I went to the front line to see if I can block kick return and showed that I could. Just so you can see if we ever have any niche, if we ever have that, you have to adapt, maintain. Double uh, uh, A. Double A was with the, the Eagles, came here, adapted. That's a pro. We have to be pros. If you want to make it in this league, you have to be a pro. If you're not the superstar, you're going to be a star in your own right. How close do you think you guys are to working? I'm, I'm saying the next one. And then if we don't, the next one. And if we don't, the next one, every one. But the first thing is catching the ball first, and then we're going to break it. But we're very close. And, we, and, and seeing that and, and allowing those guys to feel that success with me, they, they, they want it more than me. And they really wanted. If you watch that film and you see those guys stepping back into those guys, Coach saying, Van Der Esch, these guys, these guys, they're going to come down hidden. And we got a rookie talking about, yeah, I'm going to go right back into them. That right there, when you got your, your six, the bottom of your roster, have the mentality of your top of your roster, you got a scary football team you're dealing with. Was there one day where everything all started clicking for you? 
that's something I always had. I've always been 100 miles an hour in everything I do. Um, and then it, and, and it went to level up uh, when, when somebody says, I can't do something. Yeah, when I can't do something, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you that I really can. Because at the end of the day, it's not nobody out there to stop me but myself. It's not nobody to be able to stop us but ourselves. we the only person that can shoot ourselves in the foot. So for me, it, it, it's just being from where I came from. Growing up, understanding, learning, knowing, being knowledgeable, and then once I had the knowledge and understanding what the football game and the level it was played at, then it took it to a next level with your talent and your hunger and everything, and it just transpires. But it's been there since high school, been there since Pop Warner. You know I mean, I've been hitting the mouth. I, I broke long returns. I broke wrong catches. It's, it's something that's just instilled in me, and then I try to bring that here and give everybody that confidence, even the guys that's not playing out there. You know what I mean? We, we came to the sideline, those practice squad guys, on the sideline, and I'm going to them. Hi, look. Now, if you was in there, what you would have did? I would have did that. Okay, good. As long as we all getting those mental reps. So we got to instill that dog into every soul that's out there, even if they're not strapping up the cleats. Because our practice squad guys that's rooting for us got to be better than their practice squad guys, even if I'm on the sideline. I'm, I know I'm going to bring the intensity better than their practice squad guys. So we're going to all be a whole. I mean, I'm not, I'm not worried about that, bro. It's football. It's like, if I'm out there, that's what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? Nobody's worried about keeping the job, and that's not the focus right there. The focus is going out there and performing. Everything else is going to happen. You know what I mean? If I ask you about your job, how you going? You got to keep writing, right? You got to keep putting reports out there that people's going to see. If they don't, you won't be a writer for long. So we got to keep performing. So we got to keep performing, and then me, I'm undrafted. I'm, I'm, I'm. You, are, you at the bottom of the roster. You have to go a step up. I gotta, I gotta make sure I look better than everybody around and myself when I have my opportunity. When it's up to me. When it's in my hands. So, just keep balling. Come on, that's what we gonna do.